Hi everyone, I'm Annie. Today I'm going to be reading She Persisted by Chelsea Clinton, which is a book about 13 American women who changed the world. Sometimes being a girl isn't easy. At some point, someone probably will tell you no, will tell you to be quiet, and may even tell you your dreams are impossible. Don't listen to them. These 13 American women certainly did not take no for an answer. They persisted. Harriet Tubman was born a slave, and her story could have ended there. Instead, she persisted, escaping from slavery and becoming the most famous conductor on the Underground Railroad. She risked her life many times to lead countless slaves to freedom, including her family, friends, and strangers. Every person she led to freedom arrived safely. I should fight for my liberty as long as my strength lasted. Once Helen Keller became blind and deaf as a toddler, few people thought she'd be able to learn to read, write, or speak, but she persisted. Helen learned how to do all three and not only became the first person with deaf blindness to graduate from college, but she used her story to help fight for more opportunities for people with disabilities in the United States and around the world. One can never consent to creep when one feels an impulse to soar. After her family fled poverty and the threat of violence in Ukraine for a new home in New York City, Clara Lemlich got a job working at a garment factory. She wrote that the factory's conditions made women into machines, and so she persisted, organizing picket lines and strikes that ultimately helped her win better pay, shorter hours, and safer working conditions for thousands of workers, both women and men. I am one of those who suffers from the abuses I described here, and I move that we go on a general strike. Nellie Bly became a reporter in part because a male writer had said that working women were a monstrosity, and she wanted to prove that women could do anything. At times putting her safety at risk, she persisted throughout her career in exposing real monstrosities, pretending to be a sweatshop worker and a patient in a mental hospital to show how badly people were being treated. I have never written a word that did not come from my heart. I never shall. Inspired from an early age by her brother's childhood illness, Virginia Apgar was determined to be a doctor long before many girls had such dreams. Even though she qualified to be a surgeon, the male head surgeon at her hospital discouraged her because she was a woman. Nevertheless, she persisted, becoming an anesthesiologist and creating the APGAR score to test a newborn baby's health, which hospitals all over the world still use today. Nobody but nobody is going to stop breathing on me. After Maria Tallchief's family moved to California, partly to support Maria's dreams of becoming a dancer, she was teased by students in school for her Native American heritage and later was encouraged to change her last name to something that sounded Russian, since many professional dancers at the time were from Russia. She persisted, ignoring all the taunting and poor advice to become the first great American prima ballerina. It never occurred to me, say, to, me to say it hurts to do that. As a 15-year-old riding a bus home from school in Montgomery, Alabama, Claudette Colvin was expected to give up her seat to a white woman just because she was African-American. In her refusal to get up, she persisted in taking a stand for what's right, helping to inspire Rosa Parks to make the same choice nine months later, an act that many point to as the starting of the modern civil rights movement. I knew then and I now know that when it comes to justice, there is no easy way to get it. You can't sugarcoat it. You have, to take and you have to take a stand and say, this is not right. When Ruby Bridges was in kindergarten, many schools across America, particularly in the South, still refused African-American students their equal right to an education. Ruby wouldn't be treated like a second-class student and she persisted walking four weeks past angry, hateful protesters to an integrate an all-way elementary school in New Orleans. 
That fateful walk to school began a journey and we all must work together to continue moving forward. As the first woman to serve as both a U.S. representative and a U.S. senator, Margaret Chase Smooth Smith could have let that fact alone be her legacy. Instead, she persisted in championing women's rights and more opportunities for women in the military, standing up for free speech and supporting space exploration. The head of NASA once noted that we wouldn't have put a man on the moon without Margaret. The right way is not always the popular and easy way. Standing for right when it is unpopular is a true test of moral character. Sally Ride always believed women could succeed in any math or science career. Although not everyone agreed, she persisted, and she became the first American woman in space. But that wasn't enough for Sally. She traveled into space once more, and then created science and engineering programs specifically for girls so she could help generations of young women achieve their dreams too, both on Earth and in outer space. Young girls need to see role models in whatever careers they may choose, just so they can picture themselves doing those jobs someday. You can't be what you can't see. When, as a kid, Florence Griffith Joyner visited her father in the Mojave Desert, he would urge her to run faster and faster, to run as fast as a jackrabbit. Even when she had to leave to college to help support her family, she persisted in her training on the track, then went back to school and got faster and faster. Her unbroken world records in the 100 meter and 200 meter sprints set at the 1988 Summer Olympics mean she is still the fastest woman ever. When anyone tells me I can't do anything, I'm just not listening anymore. Oprah Winfrey's grandmother expected Oprah to follow in her footsteps and become a maid. Oprah knew, even as a little girl, that her dreams would take her somewhere else. She persisted in turning those dreams into her reality and became a media superstar, working in movies, books, magazines, theater, and most of all, television, where the Oprah Winfrey, Sh Inf Winfrey Show remains the highest rated talk show of all time. The biggest adventure you can ever take is to live the life of your dreams. Watching fictional judges on television inspired Sonia Sotomayor to want to be a real life judge when she grew up. She knew she'd have to speak English as well as she spoke Spanish, study hard in school and manage her diabetes before she could one day wear a judge's robe with a gavel in hand. She persisted, eventually becoming a Supreme Court justice and the first ever Latina to sit on America's highest court. I have never had to face anything that could overwhelm the native optimism and stubborn, stubborn perseverance I was blessed with. So if anyone ever tells you no, if anyone ever says your voice isn't important or your dreams are too big, remember these women. They persisted and so should you. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a nice day.